gave him lots of time to sit down and write his yeah, That's yeah. what he said. That's what he started doing his sub file. Also, I love your role as two different characters that were almost exactly the same character. In a way, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> and I love that it was just like almost like the mule's like almost just like the old man version of the farmer who, because after the farmer lost his farm, I feel like he understood more about himself and who he was. And it's so funny because it's just like any like huge spiritual leader, any movement leader, like he usually like go to jail, they lose everything, like all their old friends and family like almost disown them or sometimes they're supportive but whatever. But you come back to it and losing it all, you almost realize everything. And you understand what's more important. What. And that happened to me coming to Occupy Buffalo and I, like I always wanted to be like in the 70s, I was like, God damn, I wish I was born in the 50s so I could be like partying hard in the 70s. <laughs> but like, the fact that revolution came now, I think is so important. And we do paint with every color of the rainbow and everything and every spectrum that we can. Okay, UV, maybe ultraviolet too. Maybe some gamma rays, like, let's paint it out of there. Well, there was, uh, another, uh, yeah. another friend of ours is trying to come in on that. Did you want to If you want to say whatever he wants. If he wants to say something, just come in. <laughs> okay. Because well, I'm way too what did you I'm, just, to, I'm just uh, saying, you know, it's like, think about, like, a structure of an average human being life is primitive. Like, it's really primitive. You're born, you go to school, and then you go to college, and then you come in debt and find a job and try to pay off that debt. By the time you do that, you have kids, you have grandchildren, then you die. This shit is primitive. I think it's like, I'm tired of being limited. You know, I, I believe in if you, I set my mind to infinity, I accomplish infinity. You know, learn how to be infinite, you know. Like, learn how to be present, you know. Use the past to, you know, honor the past and honor those, the lessons that you could take from others and, you know, you can utilize it in your life and learn in your own lessons, but also like learn how to be present, you know, like as individuals, you know, we've always planned for the future, but it's like by being present, doing every day what we can, the most that we can every day, you know, it also evolves into the future, you know, and that's why I always try to tell people like, make sure you're present, you know, think about too much in the future, future, you're not going to be present, you know, you're going to be lost kind of, you know, change your mind a hundred times, change it a million times. You know, but make sure that every single time you change your mind, experience those changes. You know, and that's how you lead to changing your mind again, you know. And that's how, I, that's why I think, you know, I think life is infinite, really. I, I really think that structures, all of that shit don't apply to me whatsoever. <laughs> Somebody told me, hey, you're Puerto Rican, good for you, I'm human. Like, I'm um, sorry. <laughs> but, like, that's how I look at shit, you know. Like, I, I'm tired of being, you know, I'm tired of thinking of that, um, that frame of mind, being limited. Well, and if I can bring that back to, to Orwell, you know, the guy who wrote the original version of the story we, we got here, uh, in his other book, 1984, his other famous work was uh, it's a slogan for the Ministry of Truth, the, the, the propaganda that <laughs> we're telling all the lies. Uh, their slogan was, uh, who controls the, the past controls the, the present. Uh, no, 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 I got it wrong. Who controls the present controls the past. Who controls the past controls the future. Uh, <laughs> right, like that when you want to get it right. Uh, but, um, you know, basically saying, they tell us who controls the present now, can write the history books and tell the stories about what happened in the past and however they want it told. And those will influence the people right here now to, to, to control how things are going to happen from here. And it seems to me so much of that comes down to stories, who's telling the stories, who's who's creating the stories to get us to draw what conclusions they want. And most most stories, I think, are written by the 1% to perpetuate the 1%. Uh, like I said, I hope here at Subversive Theater we can have a little part in, in telling the other side of the stories, telling the stories of, uh, of the 1% to try to, uh, try to hopefully offer some inspiration to, for people to get up and do some stuff. Um, I know there's always more to be said, but unfortunately there are things we need to get happening with the theater. It is starting to get late. So I'm going to thank, you. Good, thank you. So thank you all it's for being a part of this. Let, let, me, let me close with an Orwell thing here. Oh, like, yeah. kind of Fox's last line in the play, and, and this may be something that you didn't catch, because I didn't catch it even though I was doing it for a long time. But <laughs> Fox's last line in the play is, it is what it is. True. Which is Benjamin's line, the donkeys, from the beginning of the show, where he's already accepted 
Life is shit. And Boxer has always got a good attitude. He's going to work harder and work harder. And by the end, he realizes he's been trapped by all this. And he's getting executed. And that's when he's finally like, you know what? I fucked up. I was caught. <laughs> And here I am as a person who has $50,000 in student loans still. I have a mortgage. I got my two kids. And you know what? I've fucked up so far. I'm stuck in a trap. So now it's like, how do I get out? Come join us, brother. <laughs> Subversive Theater, we'd love to keep you informed about other events we got coming up. And please keep on coming back. We'd love to have you a part of this stuff. Good. Just working <laughs> Are you putting this on your